Hey guys, so as people are going to do more and more transcendence with the new update, I wanted to go ahead and make this video to teach you about the new feature that came out on the transcendence calculator. And that is the capture function. So what this does is it captures your game window and uses that to update the calculator so that you don't have to update as many things manually as you are doing now and be able to do transcendence a lot faster. But the issue with this is that a lot of the new functions are only in Korean. So I want to make this video to explain to you guys how to get this set up so that you're able to do your transcendence a lot faster. So to start off, you're going to want to enable the capture function of this calculator. Then you're going to want to click this first button right here. And this will let you choose which window or screen you want to capture. Let's go to window and capture the lost arc window. I already have the transcendence menu opened here on my computer. So as you can see, this will open up and you can go back to this window afterwards and this will be showing right here. So that means you've captured the right window. Now you're going to click this third button. What this section allows you to do is to set up your calculator for the different levels of transcendence. So transcendence one, two, three, four, five, and six and seven. Unfortunately, you're going to have to set up the transcendence calculator for every single one of these levels. So you're going to set it up for one, two, three, then you have to set up for four, five and six, seven. But after that, it's going to be set up for every single one of your characters going forward. So let's start off with one, two, three, and you're going to do that and click this little capture button on the screen. Now I have mine set up already. You guys might have this little grid over here on the left, but to explain what this does first, actually, let's start by zooming into the screen because you're going to have to use some pinpoint accuracy to set this grid up. As I mentioned, you guys probably have your grid over here, like somewhere on the left, right? So you're going to have to want to move the grid. As you can see, I click the screen right there and it moved the grid entirely. And how you set it up is by going to these options. You have the first option, second option, third option, and fourth option, and that is used to set up this grid for the board. So when you click the first one, it's going to be setting up the top left hand corner. So as you can see, whenever I click it, it moves the grid to be where I point the mouse at. The second one is going to be the top right hand corner. So I click over here, it's going to move that over here, right? So I'm going to want to put this back over here and set this up in a way where it lines up. And then you're going to have the third one, which is the bottom left hand corner. And then the fourth one, which is the bottom right hand corner. You're going to want to set these up pretty well and try not to have too much kind of overlap in areas that you shouldn't. So you really should kind of zoom in and really kind of adjust the screen to be pretty much pixel perfect as possible. Now that sets up the grid on the screen. The next ones are going to be for the cards. So this one right here is going to be for this card right here. So when you set this up, you're going to click this first option right here and point it at where you think the top left hand corner of this image on the card is. So right here, you can see I put it right there. You can see as I move it, right, it's going to move the box. I'm going to try to move it back over here where I think it's in a good spot and then leave it there. And as you can see, as I move this, right, these little squares over here do move. You guys might not see those squares right now because you might only have one set up. But when you have both of these cards set up, you will start seeing these squares, these little blue squares over here on the left. I'm trying to get it just right to look pretty much exactly right over it and eh, i think that that might be good enough eh, we'll leave it there all right so you do that for one of them now you're going to do it for the right one and you're going to go and select the option for the right one which is the one right below you go there and then you're going to go and try to get it to the bottom right hand corner of this one again of the image right so as you move it, you're going to see the rest of the squares are also going to be moving. So you're going to try to get it as good as possible to where all the squares in every single one of these situations lines up. As you see, this is a little bit off, so I might want to fix the other one if I can. Let's see if we can do that. 
Okay, so now that we have the car recognition set up and we have the grid recognition set up, the next things we have to do is set up the recognition for the amount of times you need to succeed in transcending to get a certain number of flowers and also the amount of times you have for the change elemental functions. So that's going to be these next two. This one first is going to be for the number. As you can see right here, I put this right here on the top left hand corner of the seven. So you're going to want to go and put that there and just press the button. And then you're going to move on to the next one. And it's going to be the bottom right hand corner of the seven. Sometimes this goes to like, you know, 11, 12, 13 times and chances, right? So you're going to want to make this a little bit closer to the right hand side. You don't want it to be too close to the seven like that, right? You want it to be further down so that you can capture the screen even when it goes to like 10, 11, 12, the double digits, basically. You're going to want to do that for that one. And then you're going to move down to the next one, which is going to be for the change elemental. So again, these ones, these last two one right here on this long one is going to be again for the top left and the bottom right. Basically, what this does is it makes a square. So you can think of this as the top left hand of the square. And this is the bottom right of the square. So we're going to again choose the area that we want to go into. Like, let's just say like, you know, right there or something like that, right? It doesn't need to be super precise, just as long as it captures it. And then for the bottom right, you do the same thing there. Now, the next ones are going to be for the cards. As you can see down here, we have some colors, right? This one now has both black, but this one is black and blue. This is because I already set it up beforehand. But basically, this is going to be setting up and telling the computer basically the ai which one's going to be a level one card so a card without any dupes and which one's going to be a level two or higher card now right now as you can see on my screen i don't have any level two cards so i can't actually set this up myself these were already set up beforehand so that's why you can see that there but right now i can't set it up myself because i don't have any level two cards what you can do is go and transcend normally until you get to a level two card, then you could come back into the screen and set it up. And this grid and these card stuff will have been set up and saved already. If you press this little red button to save it. And then when you come back, you can just go and set it up again. So for me, I've already set it up. That's why it's here. But if you want to do it, you can go and do that or you can go in and see right here, right? You can see that I can change elemental twice. And if I do that, I'll be able to get a blue card. And then you can go click this and set this up and you can capture the screen again by pressing that. And then it'll change it up and be able to update with what you have. So now that we have the right card set up where one is a level two and one is a level one, we can actually go and select the areas that we wanted to recognize. So this first one is going to be for the first card. You're going to want to put it somewhere pretty far up to an area where you're pretty much never going to have any text right there, right? Because some text from the cards, like for example, gray explosion do kind of go pretty far. So you're going to want to put it in a spot where text will never touch and you still get that blue or like that dark color. So you're going to want to do this and then click on this spot right there. Now for this one is the card number two. You're going to do this and click on the same spot pretty much right for both the cards. And now that you have that set up, you will see that here are some colors. So what this really is, is to designate to the AI, which one is a level two card and which one's a level one card. So as you can see here, this is my level one card, right? So I'm going to click this for one. And this is the level two one because it is like a bluish hint. So we're going to go click this for two. And then it will update down here. And as you can see, level one is this dark one and level two is this one. So it'll recognize what is a level one and what is a level two card. So that sets up your automatic recognition right there. When you're done, you can press save right there. Now you're going to want to set your settings. So this is what I have for my settings to make sure everything is, you know, automatic and good to go. You're going to want to copy these settings down for yourself. After you get this complete, you can close it. And then when you click this button right here, it will automatically import everything that's in the game onto here. As you can see, I have great explosion, lightning, hellfire, another thunder crack and lightning. And you can see that matches down here as well. So if it matches, that means you're good to go. Now you're going to press this button as well over here, and that will make it so it tracks the board as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't 
uh, track the things like, you know, addition, mystery, all those extra tiles, right? And also it doesn't do the dead tiles very well either. What I mean by that is like the, when you're doing like level two, right? You have these little dead tiles right here. It doesn't track those very well either. So you'll have to manually put those in, but the other tiles, the normal tiles usually get tracked pretty well. So you need to put the dead tiles in yourself if they do change based off of grace or if you get a relocate. And you're also gonna have to go and put in the extra affinity, the, you know, the addition, the enhance, the relocates, all those in by yourself manually as well. Now, if something isn't working correctly, right? Let's say it's not recognizing a card correctly or the tiles aren't showing up correctly other than like the stuff that I mentioned earlier that you do manually, then you might want to go back in to this third menu right here and rejigger stuff and move things around to make them a little bit more accurate. And then once you have that done, it should be good to go. And something to note is that when there is a blessing tile or any like big tile with an effect on it, as you can see on our screen, it kind of covers up the tile above, right? Sometimes I can mess up the calculator as well and make it seem like this is going to be broken. So it might show this as broken, but it's not. So that's another thing to keep in mind with this. So let's go and do a transcendence together, shall we? So let's start with this transcendence. This is my pants level one. We have this all set up. We're going to click reset and then boom everything is going to update there. Make sure everything is correct. As I said, if this is your first time, everything might not be correct because you might not have everything in the right positions. So I've checked everything is in the correct position so we can start the transcendence. Let's press calculate. The first one it wants me to do is going to be putting the explosion right here. So let's do that, boom. And then when we click use on explosion, it will update on our game with what happens on the board. Again, double check as you go, especially for your first couple of transcendents to make sure everything is lining up. As you can see, this one right here, the addition does not show up because the game can't detect it. So we're going to go with that, pop that there, press calculate again. It wants me to use the lightning here. So let's go do that. Boom, lightning, use, and then boom, it updates everything automatically. Currently says the Hellfire 3 right now. Maybe you want to go click this and just click the AI image setting again. And boom, it looks like it made a mistake and um, it reset it to Hellfire 2. When that happens, you are going to want to try to click that and see if it fixes it. If not, you might want to go into the settings again and adjust the little pointers to put it in the right place because it might be in a wrong spot and making it harder for the AI to detect what it is. So we go and continue. We want this to be a relocate. So let's put that as relocate. And then we go and press calculate again, and it's going to tell us change on purify is what it wants us to do. So we do that, then we calculate again, and then it's going to say explosion right here. So we do that, boom, use, and you can see everything is updated correctly on the board now, and we still are having this hellfire too. And now we have blessing on our screen, so we're going to go up that blessing calculate you see how this goes right so basically you just go and follow the steps and keep doing what it tells you to do and then you click blessing here and boom oh it looks like this one didn't update very well so we might want to go and change our basically our orientation for our thing over here on the third one i think the bottom left might be in a bad spot right so we can go in here and just maybe rejigger that a little bit to line up. And let's try to go back. We're gonna click save. And then we're going to click this right here. And it doesn't look like it's really recognizing it that well. So let's just go and destroy this one and continue on. It's a little bit hard to set it up when the blocks are broken. So when you want to fix this, you might want to go and fix it later in the game when you have a full board. Let's just continue. This one's an addition. We're going to calculate again, and it's telling us to use a change on lightning. So let's change lightning here. And then it's going to give us an earthquake. Press change there as a tidal wave. We're going to calculate again. It's going to tell us the earthquake up here. Boom. Perfect use nice we're gonna have to want to keep updating this one unfortunately and this one's a blessing and something to note is that when there's a blessing tile or any like big tile with an effect on it 
as you can see on our screen, it kind of covers up the tile above, right? Sometimes I can mess up the calculator as well and make it seem like this was going to be broken. So it might show this as broken, but it's not. So that's another thing to keep in mind with this. It's not perfect, but it definitely makes the experience a lot faster. Let's drop this right here. Boom. Unfortunately, blew up one uh, or actually two. Uh, that's fine. So we need to update this again. Calculate. We're going to go and use earthquake onto this one. Boom. Okay. So we're going to update this again. It is annoying when it's not set up correctly, which is why, again, you're going to want to set it up multiple times to get it right. And now we have a guaranteed success. So we use tidal wave on green and then we use hellfire on that one. So tidal wave on green and then use hellfire here. Boom, we have it success. But that's basically how you do it. And again, if you need to go and rejigger stuff, you should go back and do that. But hopefully that video was helpful in helping you set up your transcendence calculator. It's a lot faster doing it this way for sure but there are some quirks that you need to be aware of. But let me know down in the comment section below if this video helped you out. And if it did, please remember to hit the like button, hit the sub button, ring the notifications. And also I stream every single day on twitch.tv slash So hopefully I see you guys there, but if not, hopefully I see y'all on the next video. All right guys, peace.